Hello everyone. So we just made it through a labyrinth. <laughs> we cheated a little bit. We used the wanted digging, but to be honest, I'm not sorry. And uh, we got all the good stuff. There was actually some excellent stuff in here, including, well, a wand of teleportation. That's the most important loot we got, I think. So that's excellent loot, if you ask me. And uh, we're happy with that. I noticed we have the boots of the spider and also the sling spider bane. So that's pretty cool. And uh, we've got this rod. You know, I was just thinking about it. I think this is about as good an excuse as any to start pumping evocations. And I think I really will pump it for a while. Um, let's pump stealth until it goes away, and then we're also going to pump evocations. And uh, that leaves things a little sparse, but hey, we're doing okay. And we really do want to get that manual done, first of all, and just be done with it. And also... Um, get our evocations up. Because we really want to be able to do things like use a crystal ball of, of um, energy effectively, especially if you've got that nice sustainabilities ring. That's I didn't even think about that, but I think that using a crystal ball of energy is totally the way to go. So we should uh, get our evocations pretty high. And plus we've got other stuff like that rod and whatever. We don't have a god, so we don't have to worry about invocations, so let's do this instead. Our god is science! or magic, or magic science, or whatever whatever it is. Alright, um... Let's leave. Hello, Mr. Goliath Beetle. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't poison you to death. I really ought to, you know, I mean, blow him up with a fireball. But I didn't want to make a big entrance just yet. We are pretty stealthy, you know. We can still... We could get a stab on this guy, I bet. If our short blades was better, we could be getting some mean stabs right now. With a plus six dagger and all of this stealth. Uh, yeah. Alright, yeah, our pack is full. We gotta go back to our, um... Stash, unfortunately. Not unfortunately, actually. In fact, we could make a secondary stash... Okay, here's Louise, who went down to red status. That's always encouraging. Or she went down from red status to yellow status, I mean. So, uh, good. Uh, let's, um, step up like that. We'll make flame for her to walk in. She is willing to walk in that. So let's do it again. Oh, she blinks. Alright, fine. Um, you should die, right? She just has a regular scimitar. She could banish us, which would be really annoying, but we could survive a trip to the abyss at this point. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we said confidently. Alright, uh, let's uh, put Sticky Flame on. I think that's the best thing. She's got that heavy armor, and then we'll just step away. Try to hit her with some fireballs. Alright, step away into this hall. Alright, this frog is fine. He's blocking the way. Yeah, this is fine. Is Louise still burning? Alright, yeah, can we handle that? I don't have poison resistance, do I? Did Louise die? No way Louise died. Alright, you get sticky flame. Stealth is at level 9, huh? I wonder how much that manual is good for. I wonder if it gets you up to like 10 levels at, at zero aptitude or something like that. Alright, uh, so... Conjure a couple flames. She can blink, unfortunately. But this is, seems to be effective, alright. I guess she is possibly, uh... Resistant to fire. Not really, apparently, but, uh, okay, whatever. She, uh, seems to be taking some damage. Let's just hit her a couple of times with, um... I could zap a wand at her. That's another reason to get my evocations up. Let's just hit her with a couple of, uh, flame tongues, see what happens. She's burning. She can't last long, right? Still burning, still in roaring flames. She's got to go down in a second, and she hasn't even dealt any damage. She could just, um, 
you know, she could banish us, as I said. Okay, yeah, she tried to shoot lightning at us. That probably would have hurt a lot, but we had to fight missiles up, and we can recast that after the fight. Still roaring flames, right? Yep, you're dead this turn. Brilliance. Alright, and let's cast uh, Deflect Missiles again. I said, let's do it right. We're smart enough we can get that right. What's our percentage on that? 38%? Ridiculous. Orbit Destruction down to 17, and um, Hunger not too much of an issue. Lumpy Orange Potion. Let's uh, identify that. Potion of Mutation. Probably not worth it, right? Nope, not at this point in the game. We're not going to ruin running this. You know, if it was like the first video of the game, I would say, eh, screw it, let's drink it, you know. But at this point, we can't afford to just get any of the bad mutations. We'll hang out for, bene for beneficial mutation. You know, we're demigods. We should have really demigodly properties. And to me, that means... Oh, it's Cyclops. I, I, oh, he just stumbled into teleport trap. I didn't think I killed him. Okay, we can't get stabs, but that's okay. We could train up our short blades. It would be kind of cool to be like a uh, demigod who sneaks around and stuff. I mean, our strength is not the most impressive. If I'm going to be honest. I thought it was going to get a little higher, but I'm not complaining. I mean, that just, that just means we've gotten more random stat points in dexterity and... Uh, Intelligence, which is the ones we really want, especially intelligence. Uh, strength is just a convenience more than anything. And also, you know, I mean, it would, if we had a higher strength, that would encourage us to be more of a warrior, armor wearing uh, type. You know, carrying around a million evocables could be helpful. Alright, we do not have any cold resistance, so he did quite a bit of damage to us. Fortunately, we do have the Cloak of Preservation, so at least he can't hurt our potions that bad. I don't think he got too many of them. I'm carrying around a lot of stuff. Another kind of ring. Alright, let's just put it on. Flight. Okay. Neat. That's a nice one to have, I guess. Although, we might learn that spell eventually. I don't know. It's hard to say. It's always an interesting question for me. Whether it's better to go for the spell or the... Um, Okay, whoops. So, here's a Cyclops. Let's back off. You know, what's the best way to get flight? Is it, um, you know, using the spell, or is it using a ring, or otherwise an evocable? A lot of uh, Randards just have flight. Or, you know, the boots of flight are great, obviously, but so lots of other kinds of boots are great as well. Yeah, we really need to get to our stash. We're carrying around a lot of stuff we're just never going to use, like Blink. That 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 sling. I want to like that sling, but uh, we're just not going to use it. We have two wands of digging, but we don't want to just ditch them. Uh, what can we drop? What can we drop? We'll just eat a banana, I guess. Eat a lucky banana. Silver ring, man. All right, we'll just drop a uh, wand of digging for now. We'll put it on. Alright, we'll check it out. Whoa! Aw, oh, man, that's a beautiful ring. Eight slaying? I don't think slaying affects your spell power, unfortunately. Man, I mean, but is is that an incentive to go for a more warrior type or what? A free eight slaying. It's like, oh, how you doing? Here's eight slaying in your face. Uh, okay. Well, we're gonna hang on to that. That extra wand of digging can just stay there. All right, people screeching at us. That's fine. Screech all you like. Screech all you like. I just found a plus eight ring of slaying. 
And I don't even know if it's worth wearing. I mean, I'm not using it. Let's put on magical power for now. I mean, it'd be a shame not to, but I mean, sometimes you just can't find, you can't use the stuff that you like. All right, here's Azriel. This is a little bit of a tough call. Um, he knows Hellfire attacks. Fortunately, he can hit us with Sticky Flame, but we got Preservation. He hits with Fire. I mean, unfortunately, it's, this is not going to do it against the Hellfire Burst, but neither will Protection. So let's just wield our uh, this. And then we'll start hitting him with his Skendron's Mystic Blasts. If he gets close enough, we might try an Orb of Destruction, but this is not a good place for an Orb of Destruction. It's likely to just hit the wall. Uh, so yeah, I started hitting him with uh, Mystic Blasts. Alright, wounded. More. Keep blowing him up. Almost dead. Fireball explodes, but did almost no damage, thanks to our awesome sling. Okay, great. Now we still have to get the rest of his posse. Shouldn't be that hard, right? Got him. Everybody died. Except for me. You know why? Because I had my tray table up. And my seat back in its full upright position. Tray table up. Yeah, if you know that song, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, you're possibly confused. Okay, we've got way, way too much stuff, right? Let's go back and make a secondary stash at the vaults. So let's find the vaults. We don't actually want to go in the vaults. We can't go in the vaults. Um, but, uh, let's go and make a stash there. Mm-hmm. Bring a poison resistance might be nice. So we'd actually eat some more stuff. That's my main concern. All right, we're dropping the slaying here, although we might want to use it later. Uh, we're definitely dropping one of the wands of digging, the one that's been used more, I guess. Uh, drop, um, the blowgun we're just not using, really. It's just taking up space, so we'll just drop it. We'll save it for later, but we're going to drop it. Uh, Rod of the Swarm is just not going to be competitive unless we uh, actually train up evocations. Honestly, it might be obsolete already. <laughs> but uh, in any case, we're dropping it for now. It's pretty heavy. Alright, let's see. That many potions of curing is excessive. We'll drop three of them. We'll drop... Um, yeah, two potions of brilliance. I mean, I'm not going to use those most likely. All this stuff is good. Yeah, I don't think I would wear some of the... I mean, Rain Regeneration might come in handy if we ever get sent to the Abyss or something. Okay, whatever. Uh, looking good. Alright, Scimitar Flaming. We're not going to the Swamp anytime soon. We're not using this. Alright, plus there's plenty of Scimitars of Flaming all over the place. If we see Hydras, we're not going to be chopping Hydra Heads at any point in the near future. Not worth keeping the slot around. Alright, this is much better. 43 out of 52. Plus, um... We've got nine slots open. So that's good, alright. And this is, did I mention that this is a new waypoint? Great. So that's our secondary stash up here. I guess that means we'll keep going on. Although we will probably have to check out Dungeon 15 in the next video because we only have one minute remaining. Alright, well, let's poke our head down. Wave of Frost, huh? That is almost certainly worth checking out. I don't have any magic mapping. Well, let's see if we can find it just naturally. There's probably going to be some crazy stuff going on because... Oh, hello. <laughs> I summoned some summoners. Let's see if we can make good use of that before they all disappear. Yeah, we don't have any cold resistance. Uh, Alright, well that was kind of annoying. Call yourself a conjurer? I think hardly so. Alright, let's switch places with him. That was a little irresponsible, letting an Eden get right next to us. But uh, he should just die easily. Ogre Mage should also die easily. Right, we don't really want to get sent. This has got to be the entrance to the depths. Nearby. Okay.
Well, as I said, we only have a minute left, so uh, we're done with this video. Well, the archway is nearby. We'll find this ice cave. We'll hopefully get some cold resistance in the next video. I think we can handle an ice cave without cold resistance. If things look like there's a fiend or something, maybe we'll leave. But we also have fireballs to kill everybody. So we'll see how things go. See you next time.